I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a leprechaun gnome. I'm going to take two fingers right in the center over here on the left and right here I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line up, back, connect, curve line down, up, connect, curve line over, in, connect. Come back to the dot. I'm going to draw a big curve line, connect, flat oval. I come over here and I draw a curve line out, up, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect. I come right in the center if you have a space like I do and I'm just going to fill that in with one more curve line out, in, connect, Curve line out, in, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line all the way up to the top. Wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way over to the bottom. Wavy line in, jump over, wavy line, connect. I come on the left hand side and I draw a slightly curved line out wavy line in, over, slightly curved line up, connect. Inside, I'm just going to draw some lines, curve line, curve line up, wavy wavy, curve line up, wavy wavy, and let them float. Come at the very bottom, and we're just going to draw a curve line on the left, curve line on the right. I come up, over here inside and I put a dot and right here I draw a curve line in, out and don't close it. Curve line out, in, don't close it. Jump over, curve line out, in, don't close it. Curve line out, in, still don't close it because right here we're going to draw a curve line, up, back, connect. Okay. I don't want my leprechaun to look like he's floating in outer space, so I draw a straight line to the left, that's a horizon line, jump over, straight line, off the page, on the right. I come all the way up here on the right hand side, put a dot, two fingers in the center, and here we're going to draw a big curve line, out, down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, Big curve line out, down, leave it floating. Now we're going to come inside and mimic this line. And now we're going to go outside and mimic it again. Bring that up, connect. Starting right here, I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to go curve line in, out, don't close it. Curve line out in, don't close it, jump over, curve line out, in, don't close it, curve line down, up, and now curve line out, up, connect. One more if you have room, <clears throat> excuse me, put a dot, curve line up and down, don't close it, curve line out, in, don't close it, curve line over, in, don't close it, one more, curve line up, up, and now curve line down, up, connect. Starting at the top right here, I put a dot and I'm just going to do straight lines in a circle. That's a starburst. You can do baby ones. Straight line going around. I'll show you how to do one more. So straight line up, down, out, in, up, in, out, in, out, in, connect. See if we can fit one more. Put a dot. Straight line out, in, out, in, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take 
a yellow green and I'm just going to draw straight lines across, jump over on the bottom part of my drawing. And this is just to divide up the space and also so that I can see what it is I'm doing. So I bring that all the way over, straight lines. Then I'm going to take my regular green and I'm going to do dots or little, they almost look like little straight lines, but I'm trying to fill in my background with my regular green. Now this is an opportunity for you to go through your crayons and see how many different greens you have. I only have two. You could possibly have a lot of different colors. These are also the cool colors, so you could use some blues, some blue greens in your drawing. Then I'm going to do yellow for my starburst right here. I'm going to use yellow for my beginning color on my gnome. Now some of you, if you don't have yellow green, go ahead and put a little bit of yellow first on your drawing and that will help make a yellow green. I'm going to add some little straight lines, forgot, down, going down his hat. And now I'm going to take my regular green and I'm just going to color in his nose. I'm going to color in my shamrocks, this space, and I'm going to do the outlining of some of the other parts. We're building up our color in layers. You can always add more color, but it's hard to take it away. So we always try to work light to dark. You'll see that when we do his main body parts. But right now we're just concentrating on regular green, regular yellow. And then if you have yellow green, we'll, tack, we'll put that into the mix also. Next, I'm going to color this part dark green. The outside part dark green. Bring that all the way down, up and over. In the inside I'm going to use my yellow green. And you can make some color choices of your own. These are just the ones that I use for today's project. So go ahead and color those in. Bring it down, up and over. And now I'm going to take my regular green and I'm going to lightly loop-de-loop -loop this space up here and you can kind of see the green, the yellow underneath, and that's okay because it's part of the whole layered colored look. And then I'm going to take my yellow green and work on this with just straight curved lines of color. This is going to be the first layer of color on here. I'm going to add some yellow green down here on these two spaces and I'm going to add some yellow green on the inside of this space because now I'm going to take my regular green and I'm going to color the rest of the space right here left and right and then I'm going to bring it down and color over the yellow, color over the yellow green so that I have that layered colored look. You will do a way better job than me. And don't forget this space down here on the right and this space down here on the left. Fill it all in. These gnomes sh keep showing up all over the place. Here's a leprechaun one. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my leprechaun gnome all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.